Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today I wanted to take the time to talk about some final preparation tips that you guys can utilize with Phase 3 coming. Now, I wanted to do this video mainly because there are a few different things that have changed with the information drop, and mainly regarding a leveling plan, as well as some new content and things that you can do in order to make it to the next level and phase so it's just a few things that i want to touch up now that we have the phase three uh leak and you know share with you guys some additional information but before we get into the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so the very first tip is going to be have a leveling plan now this is always my first tip because i think it is the most important plan so for you guys today um the biggest thing that i'm personally doing is there's a pre-quest guide someone uh colax947 on reddit posted this guide about a month ago i found it looked it over and it looked really awesome i tried to reach out to him but i have no way of sort of contacting him it was shared to me by one of my guildies so i'm going to link that guide down below in the description so definitely make sure you check this out because it is a step-by-step min-max pre-quest guide for horde i plan on doing the majority of it because i didn't really quest in phase two i straight dungeon leveled so i have a ton available what my plan is is to pre-quest do no mergon and then i plan on duo grinding um Uldemon and zf with a hunter friend of mine and we are going to just blast a 50 grinding those instances making some gold at the same time if you do not want to do that plan, you have the options of questing in zones like Booty Bay, Hinterlands, Arathi Highlands, I believe even Tarn Mill has quests for Horde, and then eventually Ungoro, Feralis, Blasted Lands, all of those are really good questing zones. And then, this is a question mark, because we do not know if it is available, but you might be able to effectively grind from level 40 to 50 within the Nightmare Incursions, and earn some really good reputation and loot so if you're you already are planning on grinding those to get the new stuff it would make sense to also level in there to get the new stuff so it could just be a really nice um win-win situation grind i don't know how good of xp it'll be it'll be really tough to sort of say that before it comes out but it is an option for sure then the next one is to sort of have your consumes and world bus ready to go and clean up your bags. So like right here, I have a bunch of useless stuff right here. Like I'd get rid of this microfilament, these pieces of gear that I'm not using, um, and just sort of fill this with questing gear and things that I'll actually use. Like these love fools, I'll probably actually use those can be in handy. Then we got some consumables, you know, arcane elixirs, firepower, mana pots, wizard oil, all this stuff just makes you do more damage, which speeds it along. And then uh, world buffs, I would highly recommend um, that you boon your DMF buff and and save it for 50 so you can do Sunken Temple at 50 if you plan on doing a week one because it'll line up really weird to get DMF and have the uh, world buff up. So um, if you're Horde especially because it's going to be over in Elwyn Forest so that Sunday to Monday night you'll be able to go get it the day of but it's kind of a bloodbath on a PvE server. So if you're Horde I'd recommend only booning DMF and then just click off your spark we have another nomergon planned before the lockout so that's why i have not done that yet but it'll be a really huge thing to do and then the next step is get essential flight paths what i mean by essential fellwood is a great one to go and get you can die and go and get ever look in winter spring you can come down here and get ungoro and since you're at ungoro you might as well just get still with this because it's an easy run with your mount to go here and get it um, more flight paths over here in the Eastern Kingdoms. Well, if you haven't gotten Tenaris, obviously get Tenaris, but you probably have if you've played Phase 2. Um, Booty Bay, great one to have. Grumgall, if you don't have those. Um, if you're Alliance, make sure you have Blasted Lands. If you're Horde, make sure you have Stonard. Once again, if you played Phase 2, you probably have these. Um, the tricky ones are going to be getting uh, Cargath and Searing Gorge, as well as Burning Steps. 
but these are all decent flight paths to go get. Burning Steps will be a little hard at 40, but you should definitely go ahead and get Searing Gorge flight path at 40. It makes life really easy. Then you can go ahead and get the Hinterlands flight path. A really easy way to do this is the Arathi Highlands uh, rune quest. You should jump off here, take the boat, and then swim up through the Hinterlands. I find that to be a way easier um, one if you've gotten that rune than to have to go all the way through Airy Peak. And then another one that you can do is make, you can if you really want to go and get Eastern Plaguelands, but I think that'll be more level 60 content. But those are the essential flight paths that you're going to need for phase three. Then the next tip is to have a profession plan whether or not you're going to level them early if you've been stockpiling resources if you follow my stockpiling guy and you have a bunch of herbs and stuff that you plan on using you can actually since we know the date is april 4th which is less than 30 days away you can actually go ahead and mail those resources to your characters so i've gone ahead and mailed a bunch of stuff to my druid who is my alchemist because he will He's going to be the one that I'll either use the herbs on or sell them. I showed that in the stockpiling video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check out the Phase 3 stockpiling video for more information on that. But just having your professional plan ready because we can get a lot of the materials to go to at least 250 right now. 250 to 300 depends on the profession. But you can definitely get to like 250 off of like Mage Weave Cloth for tailoring and stuff like that. So it's just something really important that you make sure you are doing and you can prepare it now then finally this could be changing because sunken temple is the um level up raid this patch but make sure that you know what your class quest is certain classes like a hunter and a priest for example have to go out in like a jara and get a bunch of stuff and make sure that they are doing the um like they have to do a few pre-quests and stuff over in Ashara and things to make sure that they can get their weapon and item or trinket, whatever it is. So just make sure you take the time to just read what your class quest is. Now, and it's important to know that class quests could change because it is the level up raid. So this is just information that is old and dated possibly at the time of recording. We won't know until phase three comes out. But class quests are an important thing, and they're tied into the level up right now. So definitely make sure that you are aware of that. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. These are the final per preparation tips that I can think of. If you think I missed anything, anything you'd like to add, definitely drop it down below in the comments. I hope this will help you out a ton. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.